big shout out to Sport Therapy for being a sponsor of the show. They uh, taught me this exercise called the pull away, which helps with tech neck, which I suffer from, from way too much social media. <laughs> we are also here today to learn a little bit more about modalities that we can lean into when we're dealing with issues related to temperature changes. All right, we're hanging out with Sarah. And Sarah, I hate to be talking to you during this, you know, time of pain, but I'm glad you've been able to get some relief. Let's talk about how the weather has actually impacted your pain and what you're dealing with. Yeah, in high school I was in a car accident, so every time the summer comes around I have back pain, I'm constantly having trouble sleeping, so it's not a good time for me. A lot of inflammation and flare-ups for sure. What I want you to do is feet are going to be shoulder width apart, and then from here you're going to push back, good, and slowly back forward. And let's do that 15 times. I, I hear that a lot where people say, oh my gosh, I notice when the weather changes or when there's something extreme heat or, you know, the pressure changes that, that they've noticed changes. Do you experience that as well ever oh, since yeah. the accident? Definitely, yeah. It's only during the summer, so yes. So talk about what kind of help you've been getting because it sounds like you've gotten some relief here. Oh yeah, I've been coming to sport therapy and it has definitely helped me relieve some pressure and manage my pain and sleep better for sure. How often do you come? I definitely come at least three times a week and on those busier weeks, busier weeks two times a week. Okay, so you stay pretty committed yes. to doing this and it, and it sounds like it's worth it. Oh yes, absolutely. How much better do you feel after you get a, a treatment or, you know, go through the process of what they do with you? My pain level goes from like probably an eight to like a good four, so. That's huge. Yes. That's everything, wow. Okay, we're here with Taylor, who is a physical therapist here at Sport Therapy. She and her team have been working with Sarah just to overcome some of the challenges. And man, I've gotta find out once and for all, what is it about the heat? Why is it that the temperature changes can impact us so much? Yeah, so there's two really big reasons. The main reason is that the heat and the humidity kind of put extra stress on the joint, so cause some swelling, some inflammation, which leads to joint pain. The second reason is barometric pressure changes. So when we have these storms that come along in the spring, summer, even winter, it puts increased pressure on the joints, causing some of that joint pain. And we deal with a lot of that here in Texas. It's like we're up and down and up and down. I would love to see what you're doing with Sarah. Maybe mm -hmm. give us a couple of examples so that we can see, you know, how you're working with her. Yes, Sarah, lay down for me. So the first exercise we're gonna do is for mobility. So just range of motion. So the range of motion just kind of lubricates those joints, kind of helps them get moving better, leading to less pain. So the first thing she's gonna do is pull her knee into her chest. She'll hold it for five seconds, and then she will do that 10 times. And what does that do? So this just provides some fluid around the joint. So lots of stiffness in the joint can lead to that ache. So this kind of helps just relieve some of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome, what else? So the next one we're gonna do is a strengthening base exercise. So really just provide some support around those joints. So what you're gonna do is lift your bottom up in the air, pause, and then slowly back down. And then she will do that 10 times also. So she's doing that 10 times. And let's talk about frequency. How mm -hmm. often should somebody be coming in in order to really, you know, get results and have some relief from their yes. pain? So with physical therapy, it is really beneficial to do two to three times a week. It depends on the client, the personnel, just kind of what they're going through. But two to three times a week is going to be one of the main factors. All right. We have to stay consistent, you guys. Yes. Thank you so much, Taylor. Thank you, Sarah. I, I truly learned a lot. So here's what we will do. We will link up everything to sport therapy on our website, CW33.com.